In this video, we will go over 20 automotive and shop information questions for the ASVAB test. If you learn the concepts, you can answer correctly. Let's get started. Number 1. When the clutch is engaged on a manual transmission, the clutch pedal will be A, down, B, up, C, halfway down, or D, halfway up. The correct answer is letter B, up. This is because a clutch is a mechanical device that engages and disengages power transmission, especially from a drive shaft to a driven shaft. When the clutch is engaged on a manual transmission, the clutch pedal will be up. Number 2. When a spark plug fires, it is part of the A. Power stroke, B. Exhaust stroke, C. Intake stroke, or D. Compression stroke. The correct answer is letter A. Power stroke. During the intake stroke, the fuel and air mixture are drawn into the cylinder with the exhaust valve closed. Then the air and fuel mixture are compressed in a compression stroke. At the top of the stroke, the spark plug ignites the mixture. During the expansion, or power stroke, the high-pressure combustion gases expand, moving the piston down and delivering the power. The gases expand completely, the exhaust valve opens, and the gases are expelled. Number 3. Most automobile engines are A. Two-stroke cycle engines, B. Three-stroke cycle engines, C. Four-stroke cycle engines, or D. Six-stroke cycle engines. The correct answer is letter C. Four-stroke cycle engines. Most modern internal combustion-powered vehicles are four strokes, powered by either gasoline or diesel fuel. During engine operation, pistons go through four events to achieve each power cycle. Number 4. The piston of an internal combustion engine fits inside the A. Crankshaft, B. Cylinder, C. Radiator, or D. Brake drum. The correct answer is letter B. Cylinder. The cylinder is the space through which the piston travels, propelled by the energy generated from the combustion of the air-slash-fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. The piston is a moving part of the combustion chamber. It fits inside the cylinder. Number 5. Compared to a regular nail, a finishing nail has a a. Larger head and larger diameter, b. Larger head and smaller diameter, c. Larger head and smaller diameter, or d. Smaller head and larger diameter. The correct answer is letter c. Larger head and smaller diameter. This is because a regular nail is the larger oval-headed nail, which is oval in cross-section and minimizes the risk of splitting the timber. A finishing nail is similar to regular nails but has much smaller heads that sit flush with the timber surface and provide a neater finish. Number 6. In arc welding, TIG stands for A. Turner insertion gas, B. Tungsten inert gas, C. Torch inert gasification, or D, tin impressible galvanization. The correct answer is letter B T I G means tungsten inert gas. Number 7. To fuse metals, gas welding uses A. Oxygen and acetylene to produce a flame, B. Oxygen and fluorine to produce a flame, C. Nitrogen and acetylene to produce a chemical reaction or D, flux and acetylene to create an arc. The correct answer is letter A, oxygen and acetylene to produce a flame. Oxyacetylene welding, commonly referred to as gas welding, is a process that relies on the combustion of oxygen and acetylene. When mixed together in the correct proportions within a handheld torch or blowpipe, a relatively hot flame is produced with a temperature of about 3,200 Celsius at which metal melts down. Number 8. The brushes in an alternator ride on A. The commutator, 
B. The stator, C. Slip rings, or D. The heat sink. The correct answer is letter, C. Slip rings. This is because metal brushes are attached to the slip rings, which help conduct current between the stationary wires and the rotating shaft. Number 9. Battery electrolyte is a mixture of distilled water and A. Baking soda, B. Sulfuric acid, C. Lead peroxide, or D. Carbon particles. The correct answer is letter, B. Sulfuric acid. The electrolyte of a battery consists of soluble salts, acids, or other bases in liquid, gelled, and dry formats that can form ions. Sulfuric acid gives off ions in the water solution, which transform electricity. Number 10. What are the four strokes of a four-stroke cycle, from first to last? A. Intake, power, compression, exhaust. B. Power, intake, compression, exhaust. C. Compression, intake, power, exhaust. Or D. Intake, compression, power, exhaust. The correct answer is letter, D, intake, compression, power, exhaust. First, the intake stroke allows a fuel-air mixture to enter the chamber. Second, the compression stroke compresses the fuel-air mixture. At the end of this stroke, a spark plug provides the compressed fuel with the activation energy required to begin combustion. Third, a power stroke increases the pressure which causes the gas to push down on the piston and create the power output, exhaust stroke as the piston reaches the bottom, the exhaust valve opens. The remaining exhaust gas is pushed out by the piston as it moves back upwards. Number 11. What kind of wrench should be used to tighten engine components such as manifolds and cylinder heads? A. Torque. B. Pneumatic, C. Ratchet, or D. Socket. The correct answer is letter, A. Torque. A torque wrench is an instrument that adjusts or tightens bolts and nuts to a predetermined torque value. This tool allows for tightening fasteners to their proper tension, helping to avoid damage from over-tightening or joints coming apart from under-tightening. Number 12. The catalytic converter is part of what system? A. Fuel system. B. Ignition system. C. Cooling system. Or D. Emission control system. The correct answer is letter. D. Emission control system. A catalytic converter is an exhaust emission control device that converts toxic gases and pollutants in exhaust gas from an internal combustion engine into less toxic pollutants by catalyzing a redox reaction. Catalytic converters are usually used with internal combustion engines fueled by gasoline or diesel, including lean burn engines, and sometimes on kerosene heaters and stoves. Number 13. If one complete revolution of the steering wheel causes the wheels to turn 20 degrees, what is the steering ratio? A. 12 is to 1, B. 15 is to 1, C. 18 is to 1, or D. 20 is to 1. The correct answer is letter, C. 18 is to 1. The steering ratio is the ratio of the number of degrees of turn of the steering wheel to the number of degrees the wheels turn as a result. Number 14. Which part of the fuel system sprays a fuel and air mixture into the engine's combustion chamber? A. Fuel pump. B. Fuel injector. C. Fuel filter. Or D. Fuel pressure regulator. The correct answer is letter. B. Fuel injector. A fuel injector is an electronically controlled mechanical device that is used to inject or spray, just like a syringe the fuel into the engine for the preparation of the correct air-fuel mixture, which in turn provides efficient combustion to the engine. Number 15. A dwell meter is used to measure an automobile's engine? A. Dwell angle. B. Idle speed. C. Fuel pressure. 
or D, beaker point operation? The correct answer is letter A, dwell angle. This is because a dwell meter measures the angle of rotation of the cam through which the points are opened and closed, and registers the dwell angle, the period when they are closed. Number 16. In order to stop a car, brake shoes apply pressure to the A. Axle, B. Tires, C. Brake drum, or D. Brake pedal. The correct answer is letter, C, brake drum. Brake drums are an essential component of drum brakes. Together with the brake shoe, a brake drum forms a friction pair, which decelerates the rotation of the wheel. Number 17. To thin paint, use? A. Turpentine, B. Mineral spirits, C. Benzene, or D. Varnish. The correct answer is letter, A, turpentine. This is because turpentine, also called spirit of turpentine, oil of turpentine, terebenthine, terebenthine, and, colloquially, teps, is a fluid used as a specialized solvent. It can dilute the paint. Number 18. The tip of a soldering iron is coated with solder before it is used. This process of coating the tip is called A. Welding, B. Brazing, C. Soldering, or D. Tinning. The correct answer is letter D. Tinning. Tinning is the process of thinly coating sheets of wrought iron or steel with tin, and the resulting product is known as tin plate. The term is also widely used for the different processes of coating a metal with solder before soldering. Number 19. What is the most common type of battery used in cars and trucks? A. Nickel cadmium, B. Lead acid, C. Nickel sulfur, or D. Hydrogen oxide. The correct answer is letter, B. Lead acid. This is because car batteries are energy storage devices that store their energy in chemical form. The most common is the flooded lead acid battery. Number 20. Coolant flow through an engine is regulated by the A. Thermostat, B. Heater, C. Radiator, or D. Water hose. The correct answer is letter A. Thermostat. The thermostat regulates the flow of coolant into the engine, keeping it at its optimum operating temperature. The thermostat is closed when the engine is cold. As the engine heats up, the thermostat opens and allows coolant from the radiator to circulate. Download the ASFOB tutoring app for iOS or Android for more practice.